Star Wars. Was canning the expanded universe a good move? Before the release of The Force Awakens, Disney wiped out most of the existing Star Wars canon by declaring the expanded universe non-canical. Characters and events known from thousands of books, comic books, video games, and graphic novels suddenly became more legends of the Star Wars world. Was it a good move? Before we make a judgment, let's see what was crossed out. Well, almost everything. Did you like Dash Rendar and his adventure that led to destruction of Prince Zizar's starbase and stopping his plan to assassinate Luke Skywalker? That's too bad, because it didn't happen. Did you like the story arc of Jedi Knight's Kyle Katarn, who proved himself in battle, became a Jedi, lost his powers, and regained them in order to stop the remnants of the Empire? That also didn't happen. What about both parts of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, regarded as some of the best expanded universe stories ever? Surprise, surprise, none of it happened. All of this? None happened. What's left are the original movies, the prequels, The Force Awakens, Clone Wars movie, and TV series, Rebels, and some books and comics released in the past two years. And Jar Jar Binks. It's understandable that after acquiring the ownership of Star Wars for more money than most people make in a lifetime, Disney producers wanted to be free to go in any direction they want. The expanded universe was a bit crowded, uneven, and messy, and having to deal with it would be like trying to paint your own piece of art on the corner of Mona Lisa. But... But there were some great stories set in the expanded universe, and the universe itself was one of its kind. It was probably the biggest and most complex fantasy setting ever, spanning across so many different kinds of media. Exploring it and finding connections between books, games, and movies was a thrilling experience. Besides, within the universe, there were some truly amazing stories and characters. For example, Jedi Knight games are freaking incredible. They have better writing than some of the movies, and we think they simply don't deserve to be treated as, basically, fan fiction. And what about Mara Jade, Great Admiral Thrawn, Talon Card, Jasen and Gianna Sola? They should be canonical. They are way more interesting than Captain Phasma or that orange ET knockoff, at least at this point in time. Maybe in 20 years we'll see the new expanded universe, even better than the previous one. But that's the point, isn't it? There had already been a universe made in the span of over 20 years. It was a huge accomplishment, made possible by hundreds of talented artists. Wiping it out, just like that, is in our opinion... So uncivilized. Fortunately, all the books, comics, and games still exist, and most of them are widely available. We can enjoy them and hope that Disney will come up with something as decent and memorable as the non-canical expanded universe. You know our take on the matter. What's yours? Let us know in the comments below and visit Kingwin.net to find some of the best Star Wars games at great prices. May the force be with you, gamers!